Chris Kuzman, Bolo Punch Boxing Hour. We've got right here a legend in the sport of boxing, Hector Camacho. How are you, sir? <clears throat> now, to go through the list of all the fighters that you have fought would, would be stupid because if they were anywhere between Junior Welter and Little, you, you were in the ring with them at some point. <laughs> and you're not done yet from what I'm reading. <laughs> Only nine. I want to hold a few percent. Ask us a Sure. Well, now I'm fighting for a temporal title. I've got that as Perry Ballard in Houston. What do you know about this guy? He's only lost once. Do you want to go in with a guy that's only lost once? Good. This game is winning good, but you know, I'm at the stage where I'm not going to lose. I'm going to the temporal title. I'm going to grab that. And then, you know, it's like a bad boy out there. And this era, which his name is Mbogo, and he's holding by Don King. Don King is a great social model. Yeah. We had done business together many years. So I think that at this stage, you know, if I would want that fight, I think Don King would give me that fight. And right now, I'm going to go on and take this title. That I have something to play with. Sure. It should be the day we eat in the middle championship. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if if uh, Moyogo holds any title. If he would, if he does hold one, I'll fight for him. Make it 11. You know? <laughs> Make it 12. You heard it right here. Hector Camacho Sr. against Ricardo Mayorga. Yeah. That's what we're looking to see. Yeah. The bad boy of the late 80s, early 90s with the bad boy of the 2000s. And, and you better respect his elders. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Put him over your knee if you have to. <laughs> There's another uh, another young man out there who's uh, just tearing up the charts that you could also put over your knee, and that's your son, <laughs> Camacho Junior. Yeah, Junior Junior is doing very well. Junior can be better than he is, better than what he's doing. But you know, maybe is a different era. Uh, fighting habits. But you know, if he were to devote more to his ability of being and staying in shape, you know, had to become even bigger things. You know? Sure. But you know, he's going on his pitch and he's doing well. I'm very happy with my son, you know. He can retire right now and I'll be happy. But you know, at his, at his age, I was, I was a man there, I was a three time world champion at his age. You know? And I was the top of my game. He could be doing better than what he's doing. Okay. But for whatever reason it is, this is his I love him, he's doing well. I expect more from him in the future. You know, but right now, you know, when everybody comes, knock on my door and say, Daddy, what about this, what about that? You know, it's all the advice. <laughs> but he's a grown man. Sure. You know, you take a horse to water, you can't make him drink it. Sure. Okay, and I truly believe in that saying. Sure. And I live by it. So, Hector, I love him. He's doing great. He fought about, I think, a month ago in uh, the Chavez Jr. Junior's car. Yeah. We'll have to talk of those two possibly fighting yeah, in the future. Yeah. I think he has another fight in July in the same car with Chavez. So, my son is doing very well, man. I'm glad to hear that. I'm not going to go through this crazy list. Yeah, I, I'm not going to do that though. It seems wrong. That's a crazy, I'm not, I'm not going to do that to you. Top three fighters that you've been in the world. Give me some names. Top three. Well, top three, the Hoya, you know, Trinidad, Chavez. You know, those, those, those are my only losses. You know, I lost to great young fighters, you know. I was, since the 80s, just beating everybody there. I beat everybody that was there, including my high man. I mean, oh God, God. excuse me, sir. I actually sure I love it. Uh, the the brand. Uh, you know, who am I seeing? Uh, Rosario. As a result. I wanted to talk about the other one. As a result, I'm going to go. Oh, my God, my toughest. I'm a few. 
because I don't want to go only find his dad. Should be back to the road. Okay. He ain't really, you know, took me out of my world, but he should be. And again, the public and all that good shit. Oh, yeah. You know, I think the people enjoy that fight. Yeah, you got one second of the memories. You got one second of the ball. I mean, so many great fights. I feel like. Amelia Sposa Edwards. Amelia Sposa Edwards. Howard Davis. Yeah. I mean, the Olympic champions, I mean, I the Olympic champions. You were whipping them all? Yeah, so you know, in, in this game, you win and you lose. Yes. You know, I mean, you know, win with the best and you're lose with the best, you know? And that's what I did. I, I beat the best and lost to the best. I lost to the average, I lost to the average, I lost to the I lost to the average, I lost to the I lost to the I lost to and then just keep in mind that in those fights, I didn't give myself the best chances to win. Sure. If I would have been as, as dedicated athlete as the lawyer was or is, you know, I mean, I would have been undefeated right now. But you win and you lose. You know, I ain't, no, ain't nobody invisible in this game. Okay, I went invisible for about 12 years. Okay, I won the largest. Yeah, um, I mean, I went on the field for 12 years. I beat everybody. I mean, I made good money. I mean, I, I carry the name of Macho Camacho for the world boxing. Pretty strong. Then from strong, I went to the bad boy box. You know, I had my life outside the ring. Yeah. As far as it's only two. I wasn't going to ask you about that. I asked two personalities. You know? Yeah, Macho Camacho. The great champion, yeah. and they get the Macho Man, <laughs> they have to stop. <laughs> okay, there's no secret to that. Sure. You know? But, you know, a speck of both characters, I love them both, you know. They've both been very good to me. They're both required for you to have gotten more in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they've got good blows, you know. But, you know, one is encouraging. Sure. Okay, which is the Macho Man. Of course. He's very encouraging. I love being the Macho Man. But, you know, it's a heavy load to carry, you know, because he takes me to court, you know. It's hard to be that crazy. He, he, he makes me go to the bank house to put two more. <laughs> the other guy is cool because the other guy, you know, all he does, he draws in. Sure. He draws in cash. Sure. You know? That's Macho Macho. But Macho Man, he withdraws all the time, you know. And so who wants to fight my organ? Uh, Okay, they both want to play. So that's two checks for you then. You're <laughs> yeah, and you're going to pay twice. When, when they both team up, when they both team up, you know, both of those guys, because I'm a German. Sure. I'm a German, I'm a great man. But when those two guys join forces, they're the best. Now, when you let much of man go on and do his thing, you <laughs> can't just stop. <laughs> okay. You know, when, when much of much do his thing, you know, sometimes oh, he's right, just on his feet. I got you. But I got two personalities in me. I have, I have a saint, I have a demon, you know. But you know, I mean, growing up with both characters, you know, after a while, everything gets old, everything gets seasoned, you know, my mission completed, you know, sure. so I'm pretty, pretty cool both of I got you. I got to ask, who hit you the hardest during your career and who have you hit the hardest during your career? Uh, my ex wife hit me the hardest for you. Who hit you hardest? My ex wife. Oh, your ex wife? <laughs> she hit me off. She was like, I don't see that name on my list. <laughs> hey, keep it at it. Okay. But no, she's definitely the winner. Okay. But uh, you know, I mean, I got hit with uh, by uh, Andrew Rosario. I got hit by Oscar De La Hoya. I got hit by Trinidad. And I got hit by uh, uh, Chavez. Yeah. You know, but you know, I mean, as you know, as the great champion that people say I am, you know, I'm able to take punches from these kind of guys, you know. You know, I don't, I don't beat great fighters, and then when I get hit, I go down and I quit, you sure. know, or I want to get knocked out. That's not definitely my character. I am all around great, you know, but you win and you lose, you know. And that's why I have proven in my career. Sure. So you're saying Trinidad probably hit you the hardest? Uh, I gotta break you down on one. I, I don't know, cause you know, he hit me more than once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
They don't have more than one. It's so hard to say how high they hit okay. or who hit the hardest. Because they all hit me. I'm sure. You know, they're like, oh, it hurts. Hang on, time out. Okay, <laughs> okay, no, that's okay the hang on, give me five minutes. You know, sure. it cool. wasn't like that. You know, they hit me, they keep hitting me, and they keep hitting me, they keep hitting me. So it's hard to say, you know, who hit the hardest. I mean, have they all hard hit me the hardest? Have I got hit hard in boxing? Yes, I got hit. I mean, ten. A whole bunch of times. Okay. By who? By different four guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like I got if you were to say who you probably hit the hardest. Who came, who came up to you after the fight and go, well, I don't know what you just hit me with, man. Uh, you know, this is the one time I've seen my life. You know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, other than that, you know what I mean? I had people in the street. You know what I mean? Yo, yo. You much. You remember me? Yo, man, you broke my eye. You know what it is, you know? <laughs> but it wasn't boxing. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So I got to be paid off, man. I don't know who you are, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You, you had to screw the by before I came yeah, along. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, yeah, guys, that they talk about how hard they hit. You know, uh, you know people don't want to consider me. That's how hard I hit But you know, I hit it. I, I hit, I knocked out people. You don't knock anybody out. But I could hit, I could punch, I hurt people. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. All right. Excellent. That's about all I've got for you. I mean, there's a lot more microphones that will be the chip in the face. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And we're looking for Camacho against my order. We're going to be looking for that.